Hi everybody, it's Carrie Lee Signan from the Northampton Center for Couples Therapy and I'm just streaming in real quickly to share some thoughts with you about how we can help our kids feel safe and secure as we navigate the crisis of COVID-19. Um, as most of you know, I'm a relationship expert and part of how I support you and your family is helping you to support your relationship, helping you to stay strong and connected as a couple, especially during hard times. But it felt particularly important to me today to take a moment and just talk about some thoughts I've been having around how we can support our children. And the first thing I want to say is that I really want to advocate for all of us holding dual realities right now. I was listening to Brene Brown's new podcast and she has something in it called an FFT, which is a fucking first time. And what we are talking about here is how first times for all of us always are filled with risk and uncertainty and fear. And what we know is this is like a first time for all of us in our lifetime. So this is a time that is going to be fraught with even more risk and uncertainty and, of course, vulnerability. Um, and so how we talk to our kids about that, how we embody that as um, people in our family, in our nonverbals, in our body language, in our interactions with each other is like the food we're feeding them right now. So it's really important to think about, and I want to advocate for you thinking about it even more than how you're thinking about homeschooling right now. I understand the desire to find a new normal really quickly. I understand the desire to give our kids structure, and I'm not dismissing the importance of it. But what I do want to say is that we know from the research that the biggest predictor of our children's success, health, and well-being in the long term is not their IQ, it's their EQ, it's their emotional intelligence. And so right now we have a really unique and challenging opportunity to help our kids work with their emotions in terms of how we find our way through this terrain. And I think that's going to be more important than any type of schooling that we do, at least in the first weeks. Looking back on it in five years, 10 years, your kids aren't going to be, you know, thinking about what they learned or what they didn't. It's their hearts that are going to be most, um, you know, tender and uh, most informed by right now. So the first thing I want to say is let's start with acceptance. And acceptance means landing in this reality with our kids, saying to our kids, we don't know what's happening. It's scary and it's okay to be entirely overwhelmed. Not sort of pretending anything other than that. Um, in fact, there's really interesting research out there that shows that um, when kids are around parents who are having conflict, parents who are having discord, um, you would think that what would be the most, you know, stressful and challenging for them would be parents who are overtly fighting and that can be really stressful and challenging for our children but what can be equally hard we know is when children are around parents who are having conflict and it's not spoken to when it's all nonverbal, when people are walking on eggshells like we're gonna be we're gonna be walking on eggshells at times right now this is really hard so we know that when things aren't given words, um, it doesn't mean that our children don't pick up on it and it can actually signal threat for them. So what can we say to our kids um, besides we don't know what's happening and it's scary? Um, we, we can continue to validate. We can say we don't know when this is going to end, but we do know that it's not forever. This is going to be really hard right now, but we love you. And the more you can speak to this with your kids, allow them to have meltdowns, allow them to have moments when they don't work. I mean, we're, we're having intermittent moments like this. It's about giving permission. And Brene Brown talks a lot about giving permission to, giving permission to yourself to not be on all the time as a parent, giving permission to your children to not be on all the time. Um, and just really running headlong into heartbreak and embracing the suck. 
Um, the other thing I want to say as couples therapist, I just want to speak to how I know this is really challenging for all of us in relationships right now. I mean, I know that even weekends can be challenging for you in relationships because the traffic we see on our website spikes on Mondays. And this is unprecedented in terms of the amount of time we're all under one roof having to navigate chores, routines, rituals, health, emotions. So the other uh, thing that's really important to, is to really be taking care of your partner because you're in the foxhole together. And um, just know that if you don't name the feelings, they can and they will eat you. So I would err on the side of speaking to things more than not, um, giving each other the benefit of the doubt and taking a lot of deep breaths. So this is uh, one of um, many videos I'm going to be doing, streaming in, just sharing my thoughts. If there are things that you have interest in, questions about, comments about, let me know. I'm happy to speak to them as well. Know that telehealth is being covered online, so if you're needing extra support for your kid, for yourself, for your relationship, it's out there and insurance companies are covering it, okay? Thanks a lot and take good care of your hearts more soon.